Floods in China damage major crypto mining operation. Next on your 4-Minute Crypto News for July 5th, 2018. Hey guys, welcome to the 4-Minute Crypto Show for your daily dose of crypto news. Now today's show is from a post by Andrew Marshall at Cointelegraph.com and is brought to you by BitBlockBoom. Take a look at this great new crypto conference scheduled for this July in Dallas, Texas at bitblockboom.com. Recent floods in the Sichuan province of China have reportedly resulted in heavy damage to a major cryptocurrency mining operation in that area. It was reported that the Sichuan province and four other provinces in China experienced heavy rains on June 27th and June 28th, resulting in major floods. In a cryptocurrency mining operation that was affected by the floods, Tens of thousands of mining devices were damaged. I've seen the photos, ASIC machines, graphic cards, far as I can see. It seems that the miners are almost impossible to repair, and it remains unclear what cryptocurrencies were being mined by the damaged devices, but there were a lot of them, and exactly how many of them there were is not known, but they were lost to the flood. Mining is the practice of using dedicated devices to process transactions and issue new coins in a cryptocurrency network. As much as 70% of the Bitcoin mining actually takes place in China. The province of Shishan, which I know I've been pronouncing that wrong, so I apologize, but that province has even been called the Bitcoin mining capital of the world due to the high concentration of mining operations that are located there. Now, the mining operations are attracted to the province by the cold climate and the cheap cost of electricity. Several news outlets have associated the floods with a possible drop in the Bitcoin network's hash rate or with Bitcoin's total computational power. However, data from the blockchain.com website shows that the hash rate has in fact increased from June 27th to June 28th, indicating the flood's effect was not significant enough to uh, cause any troubles with the Bitcoin network. Or, or they weren't mining Bitcoin, one or the other. I sure hope they had insurance. It was a small fortune in mining machines. I still can't get over having machines were in that picture. And that doesn't even count all the money they lost from having the mining operations shut down by not be having the machines going. Hey, thanks for joining me for today's show. If you're watching on YouTube, Please subscribe and add a comment. And if you're listening to the podcast on iTunes or another podcast player, I would really appreciate a great five-star review. Either of those two things will really help the show grow. It really will help me more than you realize. I'm Gary Leland, and please join me every weekday for your daily dose of crypto news right here on 4-Minute Crypto. This is a CryptoCousins.com production.